In this lesson, we're going to look at the Piano Roll Editor. This is one of Logic's main MIDI editing windows. If I click the Piano Roll button at the bottom of the workspace, the Piano Roll Editor actually opens. Now there are a few other MIDI editors. There is the Score Editor. This allows you to arrange your music as notation in a classical score. So this is the type of editor you might want to use if you're making lead sheets or something like that. And incidentally, Steve H does a pretty good overview of the score editor in Logic 303 Tips and Tricks. And in fact, he also does a little bit on the hyper editor. Now, typically, the hyper editor is used to make control changes over time, but you can also use it to create custom drum editors. It's a really cool feature of the hyper editor. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, check out uh, the Logic 303 by Steve H. So let's go back to the piano roll editor. Because the Piano Roll Editor exists in a couple of different places. Let me just click to close it here and show you that you can also open it by double clicking a MIDI region in the Arrange area. And double clicking it again closes the Roll Editor. Incidentally, that's a preference. If I go to Preferences Global and then go to the Editing tab, you can see we have a preference that says double clicking a MIDI region opens Piano Roll. If you find yourself using the Score Editor more, you might want to ensure that you open the score editor every time you double click a MIDI region. Okay, I'm going to leave it set to piano roll. And let's close the preferences window because I want to show you something. If you click to open the piano roll editor in your main workspace, you can't really see much of the piano roll editor itself. I mean, here I can see less than an octave. I guess I could drag up to get more of it in view, but at the end of the day, you typically can't see enough of a note range to make this view very useful. Unless, of course, you're working at a super huge screen resolution, then it works just fine. But if you're working at a smaller screen resolution, you might find it more useful to go up to the Window menu and choose Piano Roll. By the way, pay attention to the key command for this. It's Command 6. It's a pretty handy key command, and I have a feeling you're going to be using it all the time. So I'll select Piano Roll. And the Piano Roll Editor now opens as its own window. This is pretty handy because I can see a lot more octaves at a glance.